Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you? Great. To our scholarship recipients, parents, other family members, some of our officers are here, members of this great chapter. My name is Tracy Taylor Durrell. I am the newly elected president of this, this prestigious chapter. It is an honor as well as a privilege to take this opportunity to welcome you all here today. I'm very excited today to be able to participate and share in this scholarship banquet event. This event should be remembered as a momentous stepping stone for the future of our deserving recipients. The scholarship banquet is certainly a moment that we all should savor and enjoy. If you take a look around, I'm sure you'll all agree that we have chosen some special and deserving students to receive these scholarships today. We pride ourselves in playing a significant role in you advancing to the next phase of your lives by awarding these scholarships every year. We're excited that they will all attend college and not only make their parents happy, but also make the Houston chapter proud and happy because we are proud of all of our students. We would like to extend our gratitude and thanks to Mr. Marcus Robeson and his committee for all their hard work as they plan this evening's program. Today is a wonderful occasion to let us continue to enjoy this fellowship as we prepare to honor our 12 recipients. In the movie, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Butch Cassidy said, Sundance, when we're done, if he is dead, you're welcome to stay. Well, rest assured, such extreme measures are not needed here today. You're most welcome to stay here this evening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this evening's program. And again, thank you for sharing this special event with us. Thank you. Let's give our newly elected president another hand. My name is Marcus Roberson, and I've been over BPF alumni and scholarships for about 10 years, and I will be stepping down after this year and giving the floor to Ms. Pamela LeBrain, who will be over all of this. <laughs> well, thank you again for accepting the table. Right now, I'd like to invite you all to give a warm welcome to Janique LaCour. This is my cousin, and she will be entertaining us for the evening. The splendor of the king, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And oh, see how great, how great is our God. He's the name above all 
I don't know if you all ever heard of uh, General Cortez. This was about in the 1500s. They wanted to take over the U Yucatan and the Aztec Indians had this big treasure that no one could get on that island and take that treasure. But what he said, he said, we're gonna take our 600 men and we're gonna take, take that treasure. So he took his men, they got over there on their ships and when they got off the ships, he said, burn the ships. His men looked at him, how are we gonna get home? That's our safety measure. He said, no, if we're gonna go home, we're gonna go home in their ships. And when they burned their ships, they fought like they had never done before because they knew that they, they didn't have that comfort zone. It's kind of like when you're in the womb of your mother and you come out and you cut that umbilical cord. You can't go back to that comfort zone. You're going, you're pushing, you're running. You're going for whatever life has in store for you. So when your parents drop you off to college, don't burn the car to go back, but <laughs> mentally don't say, I'm not going home until I get this degree. I'm not going home until I get this great job. And another thing, don't always think of getting a job out of college. Think about running your own business. I wish that's something that I, I would have been doing, thinking of about 10, 15 years ago. I'm, I'm planning on it now, but envision yourself that you're always self-employed. No matter what you do or who you work for, prepare for running your own business. Thank you. I'd like to invite Sam to help me give out these awards. And uh, I don't know if y'all know, we not only give money to Southern people going to Southern University or new coming or existing, we also give money to, give a little something to TSU, grad, or people going to TSU and our prayer view as well. Thank you.